First of all, we will slightly rework the control points mode by changing respawn logic. Instead of appearing at points, tanks will respawn at bases, as in CTF mode. So to capture a point, you'll need to go there from your base first. This small change will make the mode more dynamic. And in addition to current CP maps, you'll also be able to play CP on any map that currently supports CTF. The next major change will be to battle fund distribution between team members in team battles. The division of funds between teams will remain the same. However, each player will receive a percentage of the battle fund equal to the percentage of points he has contributed to his team's battle score. For example, a team of 4 tankers gets 100 crystals after a battle. In it, one player scores 40 points, the second one 35, the third 15, the fourth 10. The total score is 100. Each player gets one crystal for each score point. Previously, the prize was calculated exponentially. This meant that the bigger the gap between the leader and the others, the more he or she would get. Players at the bottom part of the scoreboard would get nearly nothing. Implementing this new system will motivate players to finish battles, since each tanker will get crystals according to their score. We'll also change the gold box notification. The text at the top of the screen will now be a different color to distinguish it from other notifications, so you won't miss any gold boxes if you are playing with your sound muted. Another small change. Capital I and lowercase l will now look different. No more fake nicknames. We'll also improve skyboxes. Currently, each skybox is a single big picture which we send to you. Due to its size, GPUs can sometimes process it incorrectly. To solve this, we'll split each skybox into six separate textures. As a result, each skybox will look better and clearer.